Uh, good evening, folks. A um, bit of a uh, pre-run for uh, tomorrow's mic'd up doubles. Uh, I've decided to go mic'd up and do a bit of uh, internal commentary during the match. Uh, whilst I play, whilst I play, whilst I captain, um, just to just to take us inside the, uh, the inner workings of a team's match. So, um, for those of you that are following it, uh, this is actually our. 9-15 match so um, we have been some delays some uh, slow matches in other divisions and things like that we are timed but it's unfortunately matches are going a little bit slow but uh, for any of those unfamiliar with um, with these sorts of events this is all part of it so you know staying um, staying with it staying mentally alert staying uh, you know doing all the right things looking after ourselves resting etc and being able to come out and perform you know two hours after your start time is all part of what uh what these sorts of events are about it's all part of the journey so um we're going to get our team together we've got our team all centered so we're going to take you inside the uh, team speech for team victoria uh once we get our boys in oh, we're going to shake hands first yep all the best mate thank you all the very best thank you all the best mate play well andrew all the very best mate cheers play well mate and uh, we'll shake hands and then we'll get our boys over here. We like to do a bit of a team huddle. It's a bit, uh, we'll just keep it, we'll keep it pretty short and sweet because we've gone, we've had our discussions, et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera. All right, boys. As we've talked about, we're, um, we're going along nicely. We've rested, we've looked after ourselves as best we can today. It's our last match for the evening and our second last teams match. All right, we're on the stream, first time. We should love this, right? We love the stage, all right? So let's get out there. Let's, get, let's leave it all out there because this is it for the night, right? We've waited this long. Let's leave it all out there. Stay focused, all right? We can do this. Yes, yes we can. All righty. Uh, so I'll get out of the plane area. So uh, first up we have... Um, So table table one, yep, far one. So uh, we've pretty much played with the uh, same lineup or relative to the same lineup the entire time. I'm a big advocate on uh, if it isn't broke, don't fix it. Um, I don't like fiddling with the order too much uh, unless there's a drastic. Um, drastic concern or an issue or a weak spot but uh, thus far just to give you an idea thus far we are four wins one loss uh, we had one loss in our first match 12-13 in a close one against Queensland so uh, we've won our last four teams matches um, so uh, but that's you know it's, whilst that whilst it does mean something it's sort of you know this is the business end still to come so but it is good the boys are confident uh, we're playing with a young crew of guys here uh, for having their first experience most of them having their first experience at this level um, obviously myself and AJ have played these events before but um, yeah so um, for us we have uh, Logan and Sean two guys that uh, play the Premier Division in Melbourne for Sandown Potters uh, the the uh, DDPL, EDPL combined prems considered one of the best comps going around, if not the best comp available in Melbourne. Uh, so they're both playing Premier Division this year. Logan's in his second or third year of Premier Division. Sean's in his first. And uh, as you'll probably see uh, during this match, um, they're uh, certainly guys to watch for the future. Uh, not too familiar with the opposition. Um, Central, Central West New South Wales. Um, but... Uh, We'll be treating them with yeah, the utmost uh, respect in terms of how we, we approach them like we do with everyone. So, um, yeah, good breaks for both the boys. Both the boys are potted balls off the step. Confident start from Logan here. Um, it's always nice to, uh, you know, especially when you lead out and you're opening two batsmen. Um, 
get a nice good spread and have an opportunity to run a rack to start with is the golden way to open up a match. Um, both as an individual and from a team perspective. And that's um, it's a little careless there by Logan, but uh, you won't be happy with that. However, yeah, you have to excuse me, I don't know this general's first name. Because, um, Walk around to the other table. So Logan's made his mistake there. Um, and Sean's Sean's probably in a similar situation to Logan, where he's, he's broke his part of the ball. He's got he's got a considerably good chance here. Yeah, I've been drilling into the, the guys that uh, this week that. These teams events are probably, uh, and most, I mean even the singles events and that sort of thing. It really comes down to how many or how few mistakes are made, um, and then that usually determines the winner. So uh, everyone at their best can be, uh, you know, can run racks and then make good outs. But uh, you know, just keeping those mistakes down, keeping those shots, those percentage shots coming, and uh, being consistent with it through through the course of the event. Yeah, the teams, the teams that are able to do that, as collectively as a group, the teams that come out on top. So, um, yeah, it's a good shot there by Caleb. He's probably been a bit stiff. He's tried to go into his last three reds there and then he's without a pot. And uh, safety options are yeah, finding a safety here. A little bit tricky. Um, yeah. Oh, he's played, he's seen it. He's been a beautiful combination there and he's, he's made it too. That's a, that's a big shot. a little bit to do here, transition from this uh, red that he's on to the long red. You just going to see how much he tries to do the right here. Yeah, he knows it too. And he's jacked up and he's tried to put a bit of work on the ball to get his, uh, to get down position on that and he's completely uh, Cost him the pot. You see, pretty. Once you get the back of the queue in the air like that, uh, the percentage goes down. So um, he's probably got a little bit fortunate with the outcome, with the result there. Um, so come around, have a look. Yeah, it's um, probably fortunate not to leave, not to leave Logan on a pot. There and leave the wall in the back row, so he's obviously got a lot thinner than what he hoped. And uh, another chance for Caleb now. Yeah. And Caleb's over hit that, he's caught the yellow on the way through, and now he's on the back row, which makes this shot a considerable more difficult. And uh, he's It's getting a bit trickier, but he's still alive. It seems like a good potter, so I fancy him to probably hold this. Um, yeah. Obviously, the rules are a little bit different to the traditional two-shot rules about uh, bush shots and things like that, so he's got to jack the back of the queue up here, he's concerned. Um, and he's potted that well, so it's, uh, you can't let fast players back to the table. And what a shot from Sean there. I call Sean, obviously, Sean Walpole is Wally. What a great shot from Wally there. He's had the confidence to play up and down the table with pace, with aggression, in aid to uh, get the um, to get his white back out in position for his last shell. That was a tremendous shot, very brave shot, very aggressive shot. And he's growing in confidence this week. 
Shot Wally, great shot mate. He's um, with every match, he's growing in confidence. He's still in the singles. Uh, need to get my cue out here, sorry. Yeah, courageous, brave finish. What well on Wally, great throw mate. Frank, all the very best mate. Cheers. It is a little bit, yeah. That's me. Thanks, mate. Cheers. All right, uh, we'll get get involved into my match now. We'll see. Uh, won the lag, which um, which haven't been the greatest lagger this week. Haven't won many lags. And what's wonderful about this format is, um, yeah, you get to lag for every break, so there's no breaking schedule. So you got to, you know, if you if you lag well enough, you can uh, you can break every frame. And uh, unfortunately. I haven't been overly successful in the lag department, uh, but I found it hasn't hurt to be second in either. And, um, so, yeah, now I've got a separate queue for breaking. Uh, I break with a, it's a basic nine ball queue. Um, okay. So obviously I'm first drop, so I'm first, uh, first to play after the first two boys, it's one all, so it's the reason I'm in this position is to either consolidate or uh, rectify a situation. That's, that's not what we wanted. Now, for those of you who aren't aware with black ball, um, enough, enough to break is a foul. So uh, you get all the benefits, the same benefits as a uh, as you would with a, with a foul, and that's uh, a free shot. So the free shot is uh, you can do anything with the free shot. You can watch your opponent's ball. You can set up the black. Any legal shot you're allowed to play. Um, you can move the black into open. Whatever you want to do with the free shot, it's your, it's your one bonus shot. And then you have your visit from there. So um, for those who aren't aware. Frank's potted a red with his free shot. He still needs to pot a red to be on them. But now he's officially on reds. And uh, yeah, so now it's to sort of wait for an opportunity if one comes. So it can be very costly being off the break. Um, so um, especially with that free shot, because you know, the balls will spread well and you can just set yourself up and away you go. Frank's uh, an incredible potter. I watched him play yesterday in the singles, in the last 32 of the singles yesterday. Just keeps knocking the balls. Um, I think he might uh, struggle to find a pot here, but you never know. Right. So. Here I am, first opportunity at the table since my foul was just my dump in the white. Um, as I'm looking at this out here, we're looking at the situation I'm in. Mean, my balls are pretty well situated. Just these ones near the cushion to deal with. And um, I'm contemplating playing the plant now. Um, I'm playing it in such a way that if I don't happen to make it, that I'm going to leave the white in a place where Frank may have to cut one of these reds back. It's pretty high risk, but it'll also cover the pocket. Or I can cut this yellow in and run into the uh, run into the two on the cushion. I think we'll be doing that, so. quite come out how I wanted it but uh, I'll play a cute little double kiss here and just snooker in behind the middle it's I'm actually looking for just a little gentle double kiss just to push my white towards the yellow like that 
in the men's next matches on tables three and four. Pocket Pounders versus Total Granite. Dingo Dogs. Good out. Alrighty. So he's got out of the snow car. There we go. Alright. This yellow just slides past the red, so if that does, I'm confident it does. Yeah, it's close. Um, let's see why we can't uh, look at running this rack here. Just Turn game, so just gonna drop this in dead weight. Myself on this one past the red. It's the key shot for me. I can't do a great deal with this because there isn't a lot of room. I just gotta sneak it past the red. Um, so I'm gonna be playing at a dead weight. what I've got left to do. I've got to get this ball next to, on the ball line next. And cloths are quite responsive, tables are quite responsive. I'm thinking about deep screw and just get myself down coming on this so coming through this gap here. Um, just to get myself a little bit better on this little plan I've got to play. So I want to make sure I'm lighting the hands here and just kill it nicely. This week it's all been for me it's all been about staying still in the shot. Yeah, it's perfect, I'm really happy with that. Now the black the black's only just on in the gap. Um, you want to be on the right side of it, so you know um, if I'm here, roughly here for it, I might have to risk hitting the red. So I've got to consider that now, where I'm playing the plant and where I want to leave the top ball on the plant. So, and where I want to leave the white. So I want to leave the white sort of, I want to be here with my next ball there after I've completed the plant. And that's close to ideal, a little bit straight, but might look easy, but you know, how often have we missed the easiest things? And um, this is team, this is critical, it's a critical frame, it's one all. I want to make sure I land where I want to land, you know. And there's no reason why I can't use the time I've got just to compose myself and make sure and just uh, take a bit of a breath and just, just make sure I know what I'm doing here. You know, but not get twitchy and just and stay still. to do a lap. It's more about composure. I've come this far. I want to reward myself for efforts and work and I want to, you know, make sure the frame. So take as long as I need to. Calm the nerves if I've got any. Um, you know. And just begin my routine. Again I'm focusing this week on just staying still. Uh, but I want to follow my pre-shot routine and just, just make sure of this. Thanks, Frank. Cheers, mate. Appreciate it. Come on, boys. So, um, yeah, as far as frames go, starting frames, opening frames, I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, we'll uh, do a high five action, and we'll uh, we'll keep going. So, um, now we switch our attention back to what's happening around the other tables and we've got young Cooper Bolton. Uh, Cooper's, uh, Cooper's a talent, he's got some, he's really green, he's got a lot of talent, a lot of ability, comes from a uh, 
a shot coupe, a very, very popular and very talented full family in the Boltons. Um, I like that. I like that from Coop. He didn't quite land on his ball. And uh, he's, he's a very, very good potter. He's a very aggressive one you know, in general, but I like that he's played a little bit of a containing shot there. He hasn't quite, he hasn't quite snooked him, but I like the thinking there. Uh, I think the Coop of uh, the beginning of the week I would have tried to cut that, run the white man on the table, but he's, um, he's really learning as he goes. And uh, whilst the execution wasn't quite there, I like that he's uh, pulling up there, so he's um, he's here he's here to learn. He's here to uh, to um, to continue to gather experience, and uh, he's passionate about the game. And uh, he's got a lot of which we hopefully we'll see tonight during this match. He's got a lot going for him. He's got a lot of good tools. Um, look at this touch here. That's a retro. great shot, Cooper. Great shot, mate. That is lovely. That is lovely. And you know what? He looks really at home. He looks really comes to our first stream game. It's first time on the stage. He looks really at home. And um, yeah, it's good uh, good to see and uh, exciting for me too because Cooper's my doubles partner. And we are in the last, in the last, I think it's the last 32 or last 16. We're actually playing a match tomorrow. We're um, also be mic'd up against the opponent with our opponents. So it should be interesting. And uh, Coop has earned himself with that plus out of snooker he's had himself a free shot here and uh, I expect if he composes himself here he'll be right just to mop these up. How dare Coop? He's played that in such a way that he did miss which is good. So using it, no, no harm in using the, the, the free shot. Yeah, I like that too. I really like that too. He didn't, uh, he's got the confidence to just stun that in and back himself to pot in the middle. Too many people fear the middles in these supreme tables. Um, so I like, again, I like seeing that. And that is in. Well done, Coop. And that's great for Coop. He loves it. an early settle, the first frame, the first round. I wouldn't expect it to see Coop really play well from here on in. Gonna get out the tune. What well a mate. Great start, great start, great start, great shot selection, mate. Awesome. Now, um, try and keep, keep the uh, communication between teammates and especially from the captains with how to keep it positive uh, and there was nothing there was nothing to dislike that I saw I mean, obviously I didn't see the red right of the frame but the way he's played that frame there where he's played the correct shots at the correct time and uh, he showed some really good touch there uh, it's pretty exciting actually that was really good I didn't get around a little bit but had to coop but that frame now just to give you a bit of a Hey mate, great shot selection, fantastic. You, know, you pulled up there when you didn't quite get on that last hill, it was really good. And uh, good touch. That snooker, it was snooker. Awesome, one of the frame. Great of you, mate, awesome. Feeling good out there? Yep, it's good. Tables are nice, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. That's great, it's fine. It's good to finally be on the stream. So, um, so yeah, that's, uh, that launches us into, um, into a 3 1 start. Um, We've got, uh, we've got Logie here. Logie, we're on the mic, mate, so just... Um, Hello. How are you feeling after that first frame? I know you, you're pretty disappointed you didn't uh, take that opportunity, but uh, you're resetting. We didn't take the opportunity. Well, when you take the, the opportunity you had when you first, the first break, it was pretty much there. Uh, yeah, yeah, that ball did... Yeah. I don't, don't know if that ball actually passed. Uh, the ball that I missed. Next game is on the men's table six and nine. Queens and Assassins and Hugh Jordan. And I just put the yellow, game. which made them both sort of go... Uh, I feel, I feel he played. He, got, he, gave, gave, he got back to the table a couple of times. But he sort of he played a pretty good plan, didn't he? When he tried to go into the, the three balls and didn't land, and he played the plant, the three ball plant. Yeah, and it, to it came out really real nice. Yeah, yeah. But uh, that's right, mate. Reset and uh, ready for the next round. We're uh, we're the home side here, so we stay in the same order. Whereas the away side changes for those who are not, not aware. So we pretty much know when we're up and when we're not. So um, uh, Logie will be next after these two frames. Um, so. I thought, it was, yeah, I, thought it was, I thought it was yellow, so it was red. So, um, so AJ's used his free shot here to open up uh, two little dead balls here. So, uh, 
I'm just going to see what's in AJ's mind here, whether, whether he's going. I think uh, if it was me here, I'd be uh, probably potting this ball here and then playing a nice little tight snooker behind the tour and rail. But he seems confident. Um, he's got to get to this ball near the ball line. That's the key ball, I think. And it looks like he's trying to get to that now. And he's run through just enough. So he's starting to, he's starting to get, as the week's gone on, he's starting to play a little better. He's starting to find his queuing. This will be, uh, this will be the test. Is he, uh, is he here? That's lovely. He almost like a, just took the speed out of that. Uh, earlier in the week, he was just bashing them down the rail and they were just coming out. But now he's found his pace. Looks a bit more confident over the table. Uh, and that's probably just enough. He's got a bit to do, he's got a bit to do with the white here. Um, so he can, he can play this. These, these tables are quick enough. You can play this with check. Play it with enough speed that the object will reach the pocket. But it'll, Check will take the speed out of the white, and uh, hopefully he can hold for that one in the round. It's got to be a lot of check. It's got to be middle of the ball, not top of the white. We'll see that here. See, there it is. So the check, the check takes the speed out of the white ball. And you can still, it's a lovely shot. Um, that's good. It's in my group also, he's got up and he's reset. I like seeing guys do that. That's what I want to see from my guys. You're not right. Change grip position. Start again. And that's a really good shot. He's flicked that with running side nicely. That's really good. You know, he got he got his bridge hand in front of that yellow. Thought it wasn't the, the, wasn't for him. It wasn't the bridge length to play the shot he wanted to play. So he's got up and started again. Move the bridge. Move the bridge to behind the yellow. That's a really good out, AJ. Good finish, mate. Looking really good over the queue, mate. Well done. Uh, so that's um, look. Anyone will tell you that's. Uh, that's how you want to start a match. Take your opportunities. You want to see your guys queuing well. It's 11 p.m. at night. They've been waiting all day. We had two hours behind. And to see them queuing well at that, this point um, like that is good to see. It's comforting to see. And we're now, we've now opened. So that's the first round over. That's a 4-1 first round. Um, it is a race to, to 13. And it's only early. But it is really, really comforting. It's a nice way to start. It's how you want to start. Um, so now we're back to our openers. Sean Walpole over on the far table is playing Caleb, who obviously beat Logan. So Caleb's our only frame one at the moment. So he'll be feeling confident. He'll be leading front, lead his team from the front. And um, yeah, he's um, he's got Wally working here. He seems to be better situated, uh, from what I can see from my vantage point. He's better situated with the uh, his balls. And um, and we've got Logan, who will be keen to. We're keen to uh, bounce back this round. That's a, gee, that's a pretty, it's a, it's another, another brave, creative shot by Wally there to play that yellow and extract the other one. And it's just overheated the fraction, right? otherwise it would have been, otherwise it would have been really good spot. And he's chose to run that one down, and yeah, it's not ideal. But where he left himself with very few options. So. Uh, Logan's lost the leg, and Frank has dry broke. So uh, I'm actually starting up on the stage now, so I can see looking down at this table almost from the same vantage point that you have at home. Um, it's a shame I can't see the comments because uh, that'd be interesting. But, uh, love to uh, love to have the comments available in the chat just to see. You know, People's opinion on what the what the correct rules are here, what the correct course of action is here. Once he's got their own ideas. Um, quick assessment here. I actually like yellows. There's more yellows in good, positive, defensive positions if need be. And uh, Caleb's probably a nice ball down the other table, and that's a good shot by Logan. He's just clipped that one yellow that wasn't on, but he's probably been a bit unfortunate here. He's not on anything, I don't think, which is pretty stiff because there's a quite a quite a off that extraction, it was a, there was a number of areas of white could, could come to rest that would have been positive for him. And this one's, it's, uh, unless he's on the one over the pocket, which he'll be happy if he is. And if he is on the one over the pocket, I think we'll proceed. It looks like he's playing the long ball near the middle of the table. And Caleb has... Oh, that's lovely, Logan. Uh, 
for those students of the game, Logan's got lovely technique, he's got lovely cueing, and uh, makes shots like the one he just played there available to him with what looks like relative ease. Uh, he's really got the technical tools, and there's uh, another one to New South Wales, and Caleb's picked up another one, so Caleb's uh, he's, um, carrying the team on his back at the moment, and uh, that makes me up again. So. Logan continues. Hello, mate. Next one. And uh, it's me and Matt. Getting my cue out for the leg. Okay, mate. All the best, mate. Are you right or lefty? Uh, yep, cool. Bum to hit that by miles. All yours, mate. Alright, so that's one of my uh, jump up off the queue, you're supposed to hit the age. And uh, we'll just commentate a little bit more on Logan's frame here while I'm waiting for Matt to rake the balls. So Logan's continued on. Um, tricky transition now, there's two yellows on the right hand side of the table. Um, let have a look. It's a tricky little one, he's got to go, I think he might be looking to go into one of them, or both of them. It's interesting. Yeah, so I didn't think that wheel was on past. It might just sneak past. Yes, you don't. Uh, you might, from what I can see, it doesn't sneak past. Um, you just probably... Yeah. But it's actually not bad. It's actually not bad. It's pretty contained there, but... Yeah, double whammy, he didn't sneak past, plus he had to use a little bit of bottom to stun, so he obviously was trying to screw him in on the other guy. Alright, we'll get our head in our frame now. moment where you're watching all the balls go around the table see if one's going to drop. Alright, so Matt's try broke. Uh, quick assessment of the table. Um, first let's look at reds. Uh, I've got this little uh, problem red here. Um, I do like red still because uh, I feel like there's a number of options to um, potentially go into that red um, and free it. So, even actually doubles. Um, but how I'm, how I'm going to open this is yellow under red, try and get myself under reds. And uh, possibly drift in, actually, you know what? I'm going to drift in to the vicinity of perhaps doubling that red and dealing with it early. So that's what I'm going to do when I play yellow under red. And just try and uh, drift into position and deal with my difficult red next. But uh, make sure, try and make sure this, this speed's going to be an issue. Speed was an issue there, now I'm not on my double. However, I am on the balls that I want. Um, hmm. I'm still going to persevere with trying to get on this double, but I don't want to leave it too long. I'm almost half tempted to face double, but I'm bridging over, so I'm probably going to leave it, try and advance it once more. Uh, Matt, do you want to get a ref? Just, I'm, I'm going to play this red here, and I just want to get a ref just to watch it. Is that okay? Yeah. Dinesh, can we get a ref? Can we ask for a ref, please? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and play this red close. Trying to play this red closest to the yellow. The reason I want to take this ball on is because if I can just a little soft screw this one, put it in the middle, then I'm going to be prime, prime for the double and then deal with this, the, the ball that I think is stopping me from going out, or it's the ball that needs to get in for it to go out. So. Shot that Logan just played there on, a, on an Australian table. I fancy Logan to play that shot and pot it every single time. Uh, a little bit, of a, a little bit more difficult on there. Hi, Hal. How are you going? Um, I'm playing this red here. Sorry, no, I'm on reds and I'm just next close to that yellow. So I just want you to watch the shot, please. Just let me know when you're ready. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Hal. Appreciate that. Uh, so I've successfully 
played the shot I wanted to play, but I've got a lot more of the yellow than, I've, than I wanted to. And uh, still not on my double. And this is um, this where it becomes an issue. Because the later I leave this, the last thing I want is to be dealing with that as my last ball. Um, so you know, I've had two attempts at getting on it and, and I haven't so failed to get on it and it's not been... Um, Now I'm sort of in no man's land a little bit here. Um, however, I do see another opportunity. I'm going to cut this one in the middle. Try and come off the two rails. And getting myself in a position where maybe I can screw into it. It's getting a bit, it's getting a bit how you're going. But we'll, uh, we'll persevere for a little bit. We're here now. And um, so I'm going to try and cut this in. Speed again is going to be my enemy. A bit of check side maybe. Yep. And speed's my enemy again. And I'm very, very thick on it now. Probably too thick to do what I want to do. So this is not what I wanted. This is a situation I didn't want to be in. Is trying, is still having to deal with that that ball this late in the out. I want to get there early. Uh, but you now still at the table. So, but it's just getting lower percentages as we progress. Uh, I'm gonna play this red punch it to the middle of the table, try and land about here and then get a bit screwy into this uh, into this last round. I don't want it to be something I'm doing to get on for the last ball. So. Right, that's actually a really good angle. Lap of the gods here a little bit, but if I can screw into this yellow, just into the yellow, if I can just get into the yellow, for the yellow will free the red just enough to be potable and then holds me onto this red here it's, again this is not where I want it to be but this is where we are um, so small targets small misses so if I'm trying to hit this yellow I'm trying to screw into this yellow you know half ball um, you know hopefully I get there about so I'm really trying to narrow the target I'm trying to be focused not just go into them people too many people just go into them we want to at least whether I'm good enough Precision, get in there with precision or not, we still want to try for that precision. Um, so, super fine's quite grippy, so shouldn't need too much. All right. I haven't gone into the yellow how I wanted to, but it has come out okay, and uh, we're still motoring. A little thin, a little thin now as a result. And also know that anywhere now where I'm looking at pointing my cue is probably a, a good area. Um, to get there, it's going to require a flicker running side. So it's a little bit, this is a bit, it's a bit more of a shot than you want to be playing at this stage of the frame. But I want to be trying to play this a little bit of stun running side, come off the two rails and get into the middle there. Can get into these a little too much. It's, more, it's, um, it's what we've got. And uh, as a young Augusta Georgia once said to me 10,000 times in a weekend, just one good shot. Um, so let's try, and, uh, let's try and produce one good shot. And I've overcooked that by a mile. And like most of this out, it's, uh, speed has been my enemy. And this is now very thin, almost too thin. Um, almost too thin, too thin to cut. And, but you know, we're still at the table. I'm gonna stay composed here, because I see a shot. It's aggressive, but it's 11 o'clock at night. We've got a lead. Um, when, I, when, I, when I start looking at things like this, I'm considering coming off the back rail. Thank you. Time, we were timing today because of the, uh, because of the, um, the shot spot. So yeah, I'm gonna come off the back rail here and I'm gonna try and pop this red off the yellow because that's what we've got. All right. 
right, so we've managed to make that, but obviously uh, we now require something large with the black. And um, this is a prime example of, um, you know, just not having full control of the white ball. We're trying to land two or three times on, on a critical shot. And then as we progressively progress through it, yeah, progressively progressively gets worse. And uh, you find yourself in a do or die situation. I think we've been do or die in the last two or three visits, but I'm going to give myself time to compose, and obviously we're talking, which is probably helping me. It's probably an unfair advantage. Thank you. And uh, so now all I'm thinking is we've just got to cue this. We've got to give this all or nothing chance to go in. And um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, for those of you, for those of you at home, are going, wow, that's a great out. Uh, yes, it's a good out. Uh, it was. I'm not going to go home and get excited about it because it was. Uh, it was an out. It was full of errors, and um, I've just been fortunate enough to pop my way out of it. Um, there's. Um, so keeping a head, keeping a level head, not getting too, not getting too, uh, too excited off your own bubbles. Um, you know, keeping it practical. Obviously, I've, I've executed the out. I've played all the big shots when I needed to, but I'd much rather, as an individual, as a player, not have to produce these big shots uh, non-stop because you get in the match and you get into a situation you can't keep doing that. So uh, I'm going to continue to be hypercritical on myself. Uh, master shot, so they do get to record those. Uh, Someone's touching me. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're calling it. Yeah. They're calling the time. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay. So, uh, they just gave, asked me. Yeah. And I just said that I'll have a word. No, it's all a gob. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Right. So we've introduced. Uh, so Mark Cottingham, the tournament director, has come up to me. They've introduced the shot clock uh, because time, things are things are uh, compulsory timing. So things have. Um, a little bit off schedule and they believe that some of us to do with timing and obviously uh, it sounds like the opposition um, I'll go and visit the opposition actually just apparently they gave me some leeway there but they did start calling 30 seconds you would have heard me say thank you uh, we are supposed to be timing so um, yeah I, uh, you know they gave me some leeway because of the mic um, yeah thanks for that. you're all good yeah thanks sorry about that sorry about that sorry. yeah yeah, no, I, I was I was happy to start hearing it. I, I, just, I just assumed that we would, yeah. So yeah, no, I really appreciate that. But yeah, just don't, don't hesitate to give me a hurry up. It's got to be in normal conditions. So yeah. yeah. All right, thanks, East boys. Cheers. Uh, good, uh, good spirit of the competition there. I mean, they've given me. They, did, they weren't timing, so I mean, when they started the, the time. So um, yeah, that's, that's that's good. They've given me some leeway because of the commentary, which is great. Um, you know, in the interest of uh, what we're trying to do. So that's lovely. And uh, there's Coop again. So. Uh, Ask the boys to um, ask the boys to give us a one big performance tonight, and we are we are doing that. But let's not get too uh, too carried away just yet. It's the race to 13, and then uh, for those of you that aren't aware, there is a bonus point available. So if you get to 13 and you continue on to 13, and you continue on, I think if you keep your opponent to eight or less, there's a bonus point. And uh, we've had, been fortunate to win two matches convincingly and get a bonus point. And the field is quite competitive, so there hasn't many bonus points available. Coop, great stuff, mate. Looking fantastic out there, buddy. Really good. Uh, see, we've got a lot of positivity in the team right now. 7-2. Uh, um, yeah, some ways to go. So, um, let's go, boys. Keep it up. Yeah, it's a challenge through these weekends. These weeks, weeks are so long, and uh, you know it's a challenge to, to keep intensity up. You'd, you'd hope now we're, we're, we're coming to the, in the second half of the event. People are starting to play well, starting to hit the balls well. Um, you know, but then it's it's how you maintain your mental, you know, strength because it is tiring. It's tiring. We, 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 um, We've got singles, a lot of guys are still in the events, singles, doubles, mixed pairs. Um, I'm still alive in everything at the moment. I think uh, Wally's alive in everything. Obviously, I'm the only one playing mixed, but 
Wally's alive in everything. Logan's still alive in the doubles. I'm still alive in everything. And then there's the other side of the coin too, where Coop's, um, he's in the doubles with me still. We're still alive in the doubles with me, uh, but it's just a team. So then it comes a different, like how does he occupy his time? How does he you know, spend his time when he's not playing? His downtime, and how does he stay focused? That's a challenge. Um, you know, so everyone's got different challenges, but you know, you're here to win and you're here to do the best you can and uh, you've got to deal with yourself. And you know, there's a lot more to it than just turn up and play and pull and have a good time. If um, you know, if you start breaking it down, so yeah, but it's trying to manage the schedule and then there's delays and things like that, late nights and whatever. And to be fair, we're a good team unit, and uh, you know, even when guys haven't been playing, like people's been playing, we've been down here supporting, and AJ's been down supporting, and so it's you know we've got a good team unity. Uh, we're all good mates. Uh, we've um, we've uh, trained in the gym two or three times while we've been here too, and during our downtime, we've been eating well and trying to eat well and things like that. So. You know, it's actually nice. To, um, you know, we're having a few drinks, we're having a good time as well. We're keeping it to a to a reasonable level. Um, yeah, but everyone's enjoying themselves, and when you enjoy yourselves, you play good pool. But we're all sort of uh, taking it as serious as we possibly can, which is nice too. Um, so yeah, it's a good team unity we've got going on, and uh, it's showing in our results. And um, yeah, it's a big field. There's two groups. For those of you who don't know, there's two groups. There's a Group A, Group B. So there's we're in Group A, and there's a whole other Group B that uh, joins up with the two sides join during finals. Um, so potentially, too, during finals, we're going to be coming against teams and players that we haven't played yet. Um, so that's going to be the next challenge. Obviously, we've, we've all but cemented a spot in finals. We're, we're playing, trying to play for a double chance, which is top two in our, in our division, in our pool, sorry. Um, but yeah, we start, need to start looking toward finals and how we're going to go about it. But yeah, so it's interesting. Yeah. You know, usually in a team's event like this, you, you're playing finals against teams you've played against during the home and away, but we could actually cross over into the other half and the other pool and play teams, potentially play a team in a semi or a final that we've not, not played. So that uh, adds a different dimension to it, to be fair, and to other previous events like this I've played. So that'll be interesting, and we'll see how that will unfold. Um, okay, so back to some of the action. A lot of congestion, a little bit of congestion in Wally's game. Um, Get up on the stage again. So, I uh, hope uh, I'm going to try and fill all this timing because obviously I can't, um, I don't, I can mute the mic, but uh, I can't see when it's muted or not muted. So, I have to be at the terminal where, where Dan is. But, um, fantastic technology that Dan's um, treated us with. I'm playing and I'm not feeling any, um, any uh, issues with the, the, the wired mic that I'm wearing. It's very light. Um, Dan Lynch's Cue Ball TV setup here is just. It's unbelievable. You know, I remember 15 years ago, you know, single camera in a single angle, you know, but still giving us a look at pool on an all new level. And now the elaborate setup that he has now, the multiple camera angles, all the graphics on the screen, it's come such a long way. And, uh, you know, as far as uh, contributions to our code, to our sport, to all Cube Sports, uh, you'd have to. Um, he struggled to find uh, someone who's done more for the game and the significance to what he's done for the game. Um, yeah, uh, I, hope in, I hope in time that uh, the man's recognised appropriately for his contributions to the game because, um, Jesus, what a, what a short, in 15 years is a long time, but you know, like that short space of time, the, 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 uh, the image of Paul. Q Sports in general is better. It's better because of Dan Lynch and Q Ball TV. Um, and you know, it's, um, it's, 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 it's there's you know, other people streaming and there's people doing it, but he's still setting the standards. So, um, yeah, for everybody that's ever picked up a Q, Dan, we appreciate you, and um, we love what you do. And uh, yeah, we, it's just fantastic. So thank you. Wally's, tell you, Wally's grown in confidence every day. He's probably, in terms of um, in terms of what I was talking about earlier, in terms of looking after himself, eating right, being measured, just everything. He's he has been he's brought a level of professionalism to this uh, outfit. He really has, and he's inspired all of us. Um, you know, he's um, overhit that by a mile there, but I think uh, in a way he's trying to be confident. And I think that's uh, sometimes a bit of a byproduct today. He's trying to strike the ball with confidence. Uh, should be okay here just to 
play a little containing snooker, which he has. Um, he's might have, might, have, might have left Frank enough for that. Now, I wouldn't put it past Frank to run this down the rail and knock it in. Only from what I've seen Frank so far. Um, he just does things like that. Uh, if it is on, then it is on. I'm not sure if it's on. I'm trying to keep my volume to a point where they can't hear what I'm saying, not because I'm not happy for them to hear it, I just don't want to put them off. Um, so if it is a bit soft, apologise, but try to... And uh, he caught me to obviously see enough of it, but he has... He has... Uh, yeah, look, no, I think all is uh, pretty happy with that outcome. Right, so I expect Wally's to roll this in. Yep, lovely. Nice and still, nice and smooth. And uh, a man is very confident. Very confident, growing in confidence. Uh, is in the quarters of the singles. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, it's interesting. And, uh, give him the commentator's curse there. He, uh, he's fending off. Very good addition the bin. I play that shot there with a little flick of running side just to avoid that. And actually happily come over to the left hand side of the table and just play the back in the middle. Said I mentioned earlier with Coop's frame. Uh, just drop it in, land in the middle. Not confident enough to take that. And Frank's part of this ball with the first shot. And he's got a pretty straightforward half ball right into the middle. He'll take the right in and out of ball here. And he's had a lash at that too, but he's, uh, he's hit nice and thick, so he's hit perfect. It's a lovely shot. Won't be pleased with that one. Had two chances to win the frame and close it out. He won't be happy, but one thing I know about Sean, he'll, he'll shake it off. He'll shake it off and he'll come back and I wouldn't be surprised if he comes back with a vengeance in the next frame. That's how he's been approached it the whole time. So now we've got Logan up. We're um, it was 7 3. Uh, so going along nicely, but it is a race to 13, so there's a long way to go. Hello, mate. So Logan's off to the table with a bit of bounce in his step, which is always good to see. So, um, AJ's at the table, currently to complete the, uh, the second round. I look at it round by round, so obviously a 4-1 win in the first round. Uh, and now, uh, um, AJ's found himself snookered here. Still getting across the cushion names of the opposition because it's on the, on the sheet here we've only got, uh, got the first initial and their surname. Um, so I know a couple of them, Caleb Frank, but just on this mat. Um, what else we got? Uh, we got, uh, I don't know, so I'm going to get around and check out this, have a close look at their shirts so I can call the action for them as well and uh, by their name, preferably. Um, so. Jay's not got out of that snooker, he just clipped the red on the way, it's a bit stiff, it looks like it's pretty good there from that, so we've got Logan breaking. Bit of movement, bit of helicopter action on the white there, <laughs> spin in the middle of the table. Uh, it's, um, it's got balls, so he's got first look. It's amazing how valuable that first choice is, that first option. Whether we pots out from here or not, that first choice that the potty involved to break awards you it is a um, considerable edge in the frame. Especially a frame like this where there's some congestion. He's elected red, that's the reds. AJ has um, used his three shot and now he's potted, he's really potted himself into a tricky spot here. Uh, I thought he was actually looking at another snooker. He's potted a ball and he's got to run this one down the rail. Um, it's 
a big shot. I think. So, yeah. He's nudged into a set. It's actually interesting. He's probably tried to cover the hole, but um, still knocked that yellow back towards the black a little bit. Makes it a bit tricky. Um, back up on the stage. Yeah. See, they see what's going on a little bit better. The incredible setup the, uh, the team's got here. Every match, every team's given an iPad to do the scoring on. Uh, so they're up here, they've got them on constantly on charge. So that's an iPad available for every single team match. So uh, we're obviously using Poolstat to record all the results. And um, yeah, so a look at, uh, that's a great shot by AJ. It's an aggressive shot. And he's probably just been a little bit stiff for being ideal. But, um, yeah, but uh, just that alone, now look at that uh, the setup here, the professionalism of the event, the way it's run. Um, just that alone, you know, like not having score pads and score sheets and whatnot, not having to use your phone, but having an iPad provider for every match. Um, very impressive, I thought. He's trying to contain the situation there. He's probably needed to contain it whilst leaving his ball on to keep his opponent under pressure. But the opponent now is free to play a safety without any pressure. Um, so I like AJ's choice there to play a containing type shot, but you need to contain and bring your yellow into the open so the opponent still has the, at least has the pressure of you having a ball on. Again, Andrew can comfortably do what, uh, do what he wants here. And knowing that even if he doesn't quite get it right or doesn't quite snook room or whatever his intended plan is, he knows that AJ can't pot with this ball. So, you know, it's a considerable advantage here. And uh, he's played a pretty tidy snooker there. It's a good snooker. Um, it's both reds down towards where inevitably AJ's going to be leaving the white. Even if he's successful in the snooker, he's very hard to leave him off a red. Uh, so that's, a, that's, a good, that's a very good snooker. I like that snooker. Jay's in a considerable amount of trouble here. Getting, hitting the yellow is not an issue. Uh, hitting the yellow and getting the white somewhere where it at least makes it difficult for Andrew, that's going to be the real challenge. I'm just surprised to see him play this with speed, trying to make something happen. And with speed comes risk, speed kills, and even that. So I, I would have considered that a pretty good outcome. Well, it's a pretty good result to get the white that far down the table of that situation. But even up there, it's pretty straightforward from Andrew now. He's got a straight pot with the corner. All he's going to do is stun the light. And he's two pots away from the frame, so... To be honest, AJ's done probably as much as he could do there. Uh, Andrew has made an absolute mill of that, unfortunately. Um, just needed to play that full ball and just stun the light, but he's, he hasn't hit it full. And he's hit it a little deep, and he's screwed himself away from the body angle. And, uh, it's going to be the big shot to recover, and that's... that's uh, I'm sure Andrew won't have any problems saying that's just a little poor. He would have wanted to be, he would have expected to play uh, the situation a little bit better, but nonetheless, he's, um, he's got the white down here in Bork, and now uh, AJ has got a big pocket, so I wouldn't be surprised to see AJ be aggressive here. Um, oh shit, that's my glasses, don't even forget me. Um, AJ's got the comfort here. I, I, I'm AJ now, I'm playing the shot with aggression, I'm playing into the cushion first and using the big pocket. That's a right shot. He's played that well. He's played that very well. And uh, Andrew's ribs have gone dead on the cushion, so he's got the comfort and the confidence now just to pop this in. Expecting to pop this. Lovely, AJ. So um, I thought Andrew played that frame very well from the moment that, uh, that, that, that AJ broke down. He got himself in a position to win the frame very well. And uh, unfortunately, just didn't execute when he's. Um, been presented, well not been presented, but created his opportunity, um, and that can be very frustrating for a player. Um, but uh, seems like a nice fellow, Andrew. I don't really know him personally, but it seems like a nice fellow, and they seem like I've got a good uh, team vibe down there. They've got a positive attitude. So, is it me? I'm up. Sorry, I'm up. I didn't realise I was up. Um, okay, so it's me. So I've lost track. Lost track of the uh, yeah, because Wally played. Yeah, sorry, my apologies. It's Wally number one, is he? Yeah. Okay. All right. So it's me. 
and Matt. Sorry, Matt. Thank you, mate. Cheers. All the very best. Bye, well. And my terrible run of bad legs continues. All yours, mate. So uh, we'll be uh, watching Matt from the sideline again. Uh, so AJ winning now. I think it's about eight. That's uh, eight two as of the second round. So it's two four one wins in the first two rounds. So can't ask so much more than that. I'm looking over at Logie's table. Um, Logan has the black over the hole, and now position player here has a big, big, big tilt at this yellow. What a shot. That's a big shot. That's a great shot. Uh, all or nothing there. A lot of guys would have took the, uh, tried to take the one over the pocket, but he's gone now. What? I've got to knock both of these in. I may as well knock the hard one in first. That's a big shot. And when you, when you, when your team's, you know, 8 2 down or more, 9 2 down, like that's, it's even harder again. So that's a guy that's got, um, it's a guy who's got it in him to lift in the big moment. I mean, you know, that's, uh, that's huge. Okay, so we're open. We're more mindful of uh, the shot clock this time. Um, so on quick inspection, I like yellows. I like yellows because we've only got one ball that would be considered dead, but I fancy it down the rail. Uh, so we've got a couple of long rail balls here. We're going to require some killing. This, uh, this, this adventure here might require some queuing, but open is a little bit of a problem. Um, and thank you. And yeah, I'm going to play a little bit, a little bit creative here. I'm going to try and jack up here and just screw back this yellow into the red. Not quite what I wanted, but we're there. Got a little bit rushed there. Um, don't like this because I'm concerned I'm going to push this red into I'm cutting this. I'm concerned I'm going to push this red into, into the path of my two yellows down there, and it could ruin my day here. So, um, but we'll try and try and be a little bit gentle with it. Thank you. No, actually, we're fat. I'm going to be opposite way. I'm going to try and maybe use a bit of speed and hopefully. Lap of the gods again, so just um, you know, flick this and hopefully that red's going to go into my red or yellow. Yep. I managed to keep that relatively under control. It's, um, it's like I contemplate maybe slowing this one down a little bit just based on where I've landed. Um, yeah, although I'm going to play ball onto ball here and uh, try and bring this other yellow out. But if not, I'll miss it and uh, come out and be in a good position. Thank you. So I'm just going to run this down, ball onto ball, try and catch my other yellow. I haven't caught it, but as I said, if it did drift past, then I can pop those two. So a little bit untidy, but we're here now. Uh, good to see how I'm queuing. I'm going to take this yellow near the balk line. I'm try and nice and lighten the hands. I'm going to try and screw back into this area here uh, and turn the last three balls into roll-ins. Um, so yeah, time to back the queuing. Probably pink spot is ideal. Just a little bit before the pink spot. Lighten the hands. I'm trying to stay still. And I've got well too deep into it. I'm real focused on queuing it well. I've got fucking, oh Jesus, excuse my language. Uh, I've got way too deep, way too deep. Don't need to get that deep into these. These tables are so responsive. Uh, now I'm in a world of pain. Um, can't bridge over, so I'm left-handed, so bridging overs of no value. Can't get the work on the ball I want now. I've got a, I've got, I'm on the double, but I've got to make it. I've got to force it a little bit, punch it a little bit. Thank you. And we're, um, but you know what? We're going to continue on. And we're going to, we're going to try and double this, try and straighten it up. 
Yep, got away with that one, but again we're... Tell you what, we're sucking it in. We've got a, we're playing the loose and wild white. Uh, we have not been good with our white ball, and this is, this is a mess. I'm limited now because I've got the white on the cushion, and uh, you know, I've got limited space to land in. Okay, so really I've got to land close to the cushion, which sucks it's going to make my next ball difficult but I've got to just cash this in I've got, I've got to cash it in and just land so I've got a shot the worst thing is to snooker myself in this position so just dropping this in at dead weight it's not ideal but it's make sure I'm right so not being able to put any bottom on this white ball is probably going to cost me um you know, can I gently drift it in and stay on the black? I don't know. Any movement forward is going to be interesting. I've got to go. I've probably got to hit a little bit thinner. I've got to cheat the pot off this side, push it side jaw here, and just try and nestle the white in without it going behind. Thank you. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Again, I'm just going to try and tap this in. Tap, tap it in. Oh, just, just nestle next to that red. Just try and kiss it in. And... Not at all what I wanted, but the outcome is there. Um, I've actually hit it off the other jaw. And uh, yeah, but anyway, untidy, fine by the seat of my pants when I'm executing. I'm getting away with it, which is not, um, not, not the story one. I really need to get out, that, out of my head too and just now focus on this. It's not easy. It's got to be approached. Middle pocket sense of frame. You've got to approach it confidently. Uh, I'm lighting the hands here and I'm focusing on dead middle pocket. Thank you. And uh, just making sure of it. I want to stay still. Let's make sure of it. It's been a good out. Let's make sure of it. Reward ourselves. There it is. Thanks, Matt. Cheers, mate. Appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. Uh, I did just say, I did just call it a good out. I won't call another uh, typical, those that know me, there'll be a typical Sean Partridge out. Uh, Biggest weakness in my game is cue ball. And uh, I don't necessarily think my mapping was terrible there, and that'll, that'll, that'll uh, if anyone's watching, but uh, my execution was terrible in terms of my position, but I potted my way out of trouble. A few high fives, but uh, again, being hypercritical of myself, I don't want to have to keep going to the well all the time like that. Uh, so I would like to play a better white ball, but queuing well. So this is my analysis of how I'm going. I'm queuing well. I feel good out there. Um, you know, so I'll take all those positives away. So if I'm able to produce those outs, uh, this, is, this is an insight into how I'm thinking. If I'm able to produce those outs, then, you know, hopefully if I can make it a little bit easier for myself, then the easier outs will be easier to produce. So I'm not disappointed with how I'm playing. Um, I'd like to be, especially mic'd up on the on the cat. I'd like to land maybe one or one or two times where I want, um, but uh, I'm getting away with it and I'm stringing it together, and um, you know, and the team's going on. So we'll just we'll continue to do as we are. Um, Ten four. Yeah. We'll, um, Yes, yes, we've got to, uh, okay. So, I have a very um, very special young friend at home. Her name is Ruby. And uh, Ruby's only three years old. Three years old? I hope I got that right. I'm pretty sure she's three. Um, three, four, she's a genius anyway. She's like seven, she'll be seven. <laughs> the way she speaks and the way she, the way she is. But um, we have a little, uh, we have a little, um, a little ritual we do doing it since New Year's Eve when we wandered into the court uh, and found some chickens. So uh, it's a bit off, off, uh, off topic, but uh, I promised Ruby that if I was to get on the stream that I would do the rooster. Um, so, yes, so we will, we will try and find, squeeze an appropriate moment, which might be the end of the stream, for me to do my rooster dance uh, for Ruby, who's been sick this week, I believe. Um, so, Ruby, if you're watching... 
I love you, sweetheart, and I will do the best I can to do a good rooster for you. I saw your chicken earlier on uh, Snapchat, so um, yeah. And while I'm self, while I'm indulging myself um, in personal things, I'll um, I'll say uh, hello to my beautiful wife, Debbie, and uh, my son Jacob, who's probably staying up even though he wants to go to bed for work tomorrow to watch this match. And uh, to all the uh, the Blasi crew at home that I know are watching. And for everyone else at home, I hope you're enjoying it. hope I'm producing for you. And uh, thank you for all your support. And, um, yeah, let's hopefully get another win for you. But so we'll go back to the action. And... Um, tables back to the action uh, AJ's had a lash there Jordan Ball and fluked it just what the opposition want to see when we're 10 something up so it uh, must be thrilling um, Caleb's been uh, by far their best player so far and he won't uh, yeah he won't like seeing that but he'll wait for his opportunity and um, AJ gentlemanly enough to put his hand up there and apologize I suppose good etiquette and, uh, I suppose take it does get a fluke there, and I, you know, he's, he's still got to take advantage of it, isn't he? And I think he's in a situation where he possibly can. So the look, we can, certainly got the balls there, and he's certainly coming well. And uh, just from that bit of fortune, it's um, his prime position now to, to win this frame. And it's, uh, yeah, you can't be, you can't like, you can't like watching that if you're Caleb. Like I said, he's been our best player so far. He's, um, on two of their four frames, and uh, yeah, he's, he's been troubling us. And he's probably not going to get an opportunity here, which is as a result of a bit of fortune on uh, AJ's part. He was careless, first of all, he was careless, and then he's got away with the fluke, and now he's run away with the rack, so it's not, uh, yeah, it's sort of all going our way, isn't it? And a bit loose too, and he's got away with that one as well, but yeah. Just pinched it. I like Caleb, it's different. Uh, so, yeah, everything going your way. AJ with a bit of fortune there. Uh, we won't do too much celebration, high fives, or low fives, whatever. Oh, master? So, AJ's a master break there too, so. It's, um, you've got to log it. So, yeah. Uh, Everything going our way, 11-4. Um, and there we go, we're moving through this match quite quickly. Um, interestingly enough, it's probably one of our better performances in terms of um, taking opportunities. Um, so we've got Logan and Sean at the table again. Logan smashed his, uh, his leg and has lost the leg to Matt. Uh, Sean found himself snookered over there and has just missed the snooker, so We've got two mats, so this is the other mat, I think. One second. There is. So, we've got to be careful here not to not to get a bit too blasé or casual because we're leading. Uh, we want to lock the win away first and we're moving towards the bonus point. Um, which is certainly the bonus points in play. Um, so, three shot being used there by Matt to release one of his yellows from the rail. I'll go back on the stage and try and give you some better commentary on this frame. Um, past uh, Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Cottingham, who I believe are on about five or six hours sleep a night. Um, really putting in the yards and uh, putting on another first class event. Um, so, um, so that's... That's played that frame, played that situation perfectly. He's released one of his balls on a free shot, and he just put Quali in another really good snooker. And you know, again, this is this is the way Matt's going about this. Exactly how you got to go about it because these opportunities, once the opposition missed that last ball, these frames are the frames you, you must take advantage of. This is Matt's full favourite here, but he's got to do the right shots. He's got to play the right shots, and he's got to do the work. So, and it's good. It's good to see him do that fight, and you know. He's not looking at the scoreline, he's looking at it frame by frame and wanting to uh, 
wanting to take advantage of this opportunity, so we'll be surprised to see him use his free shot here to run it down the rail. Yep, lovely, lovely shot. Again, he's taking options here, he's got multiple options, but he's taking options that pretty much make every shot a shot to nothing. He's, you know, he's got the protection of coverage at the moment. He's sort of done a little too little with the white deal, in my opinion. I, I'm playing that shot and trying to do a little bit more with the white, trying to advance it. So, he's you now cutting this ball in the middle. That's a good shot, up and down, but see it. He's running the white there, and again, it's kind of in a, sort of no man's land sort of position here. And, you know, it's looking for, probably, probably looking for coverage. It's a brave shot. It's a brave shot to, uh, to play that snooker that way, to put the ball that you're striking in the path of the ball you're defending. It's a brave shot. He's managed to cover it enough to cover the potting angle. Uh, so it's probably going to be enough to contain it, but it gives Wally a shot at the lash. Um, I liked glancing that yellow a bit thinner, using off the two rails, side rail, back rail, getting back over to sort of that um, pocket to Wally's left. Uh, so that would have been my preferred option. That was more margin for error in the snooker. But anyway, he's got half a snooker. There's Wally having a lash as predicted. And yeah. So look, I'm being hypercritical. It was a brave shot. He's covered the potting angle and he's got himself back now in a position to win it. Got a play plant here. Shot Logan. Logan seems to be uh, trying to step up his tempo and be more aggressive here from what I can see. Um, so he's played the plant, but unfortunately he's knocked. He's overhit it, probably hit it a little bit less straight, I suppose, than he would have wanted to, and he's put this yellow into a difficult position. Um, interesting. And again, I consider this a little no-man's land positional shot, I think. Uh, a little bit more thought there, maybe another snooker. Bounce off the, the ball in the middle, but this is interesting. He's now he's asking himself to roll this in the middle and then leave himself a very thin cut and cushion. And uh, he's done that best case. A little bit of shot to nothing in this, but um, it's not where you want to be for a, um, with what he had to start with this visit. But uh, he is, as I've been in my earlier frames, he's still muttering. Um, still going. Nick this across. The position's almost, it's almost going to happen naturally. It's going to go up and down the table. Um, and that's, uh, yeah, that's it. So that's a good speed, but I think a bit firmer coming out of ball because he's left himself long here in the black. Um, yeah. not, not ideal, but he's on it. He's still at the table. a lot of himself there to pop that back from that distance but uh, he's given it a good shake didn't leave it didn't die wandering until he's hit it pretty firm and uh, he's probably got a decent result here white wise um, this isn't easy by any stretch uh, I'm sure I'm considering the cut down the rail but the white's going to go flying across the table um, a couple of options here you can try and cut it over down the rail. And check the white. Or you can play running side and run the white down the other end. Oh, what a shot. And that needs to bounce. He's checked it up. He's played the shot I said check. With, um, the most critical thing for him there is he's got it close enough to the pot to cover the pocket. And he's got across the table just far enough that the potting angle is not available to the other corner. So he's probably uh, swung it into his advantage there. Maybe. You're right. Yeah. Really 
is, is, that's a terrific shot. All or nothing, all or nothing, double, great shot, great shot. All or nothing, double, and uh, he's made it. Fascinating frame. Uh, nothing sort of happened how it should have happened, but uh, uh, a big shot. It's always good for the TV for a big shot, isn't it? Um, and uh, yeah, good dig. Oh, and it's me. So I'm up. Uh, back to the tables. This will be my third fourth, no, fourth frame. Now uh, things are going my way at the minute, so we'll see if we can keep them going. I'm still on, yeah. Yeah, it's going beautiful. I'm comfortable here. Yeah. yeah, comfortable. Yeah. So it's just. Uh, Scotty Fraser checking in. He's going to be mic'd up tomorrow with the doubles. Just wanted to know how comfortable the headset is. Andrew, all the best, mate. Left or right, mate? Yep, okay, cool. All right, let's see if my lagging continues to go. And yours. That's a great lag. Look at that. That's touching the rail. Touching the rail. Awesome. Uh, that's probably my best leg, and no, Andrew goes and puts it on the round. Awesome. <laughs> uh, so again, we're conceding the break. Uh, again, don't mind being second. Uh, and, uh, I'm sure we're waiting here. We'll turn our attention to um, to the uh, other table. That's uh, it. What, what it seems that uh, Logan's kind of wrestled control of his frames, controlling that pocket and controlling that yellow. And that seems determined to be aggressive here by the looks and um, cut this in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I like that he was aggressive there, but I'd like to see if uh, he's going to be aggressive, he'd be even more aggressive. Obviously, he's missed the pot, but I would have been looking to uh, to go into that bit firmer, make the pot, and you know, obviously with the luxury of knowing you can knock on the red and, and uh, possibly clear the path or possibly straight to see it. Just, um, but it all all intentions uh, fall away when you don't make the actual pot. So uh, good shot from Logan there. But, yep. Wow, that's nearly off dropped in, and it would have been a horrible result for him to drop in. But uh, he's played a brave shot there. It was thin. He's got. Across the table, and uh, I dare say, a cute little screw out here, perfect. Right, so we're, um, we're the benefactor of another dry break. We get first look, and at first glance, we've got issues down here. Both both balls have issues down here a little bit, but. Yellow is available there. Um, now I like yellows. Um, yeah, my open is going to be this one on the pink spot. So I'll try and put this in and follow through. And that should open everything up for me. Time out. Yes, Logie. Good finish, mate. Okay. So thank you. chance now to get on what we consider the tricky yellow. What I'm being mindful of here is this yellow here is only available in this corner. This yellow here is actually a little bit trickier to get onto than originally. So a little bit a little bit precise around here which hasn't been my forte thus far. Thank you. Um, the walk is you persevere, try and land just on the one at the middle. Oops, bit firm, sort of hit that bit firm. I'm inclined to, um, to play this one now that I've overrun this a little bit. Again, we're very untidy. But in here and deal with the two difficult ones which is this one the one now and the one that has to be going to one pocket so I'm going to go into the black a little bit here but uh, it's, it's 
uh, all kinds of horrible. Um, yeah, a bit frazzled in this one, to be honest. Uh, balls were there. And now it's, uh, yeah, now it's just all gone wrong. But we're still at the table, so we'll keep trying to create. We're playing with our nose wide open here, though. We, you know, we're getting away with it so far, but I'm going to still play, going to still play this red, yellow. It's going to come off this red. Try and drift to this area here. I might be able to salvage something, but it's not. Again, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of shot. Thank you. And there's a big mistake. And that's um, that's the road we've been on with all the outs. Just a horrible result. Thank you. Brought on by poor position. So, um, yeah, I'm not surprised to find myself at least in one frame in this position because that's what, uh, that's what my terrible white ball has been uh, bound to happen. So um, I've just got a free shot here. Obviously, trying to keep what I'm saying to a minimum. He's using it well, in my opinion. He's used it well. He's trying to address his difficult ball, which we identified at the start of the year. And he's done that. Blessed with another, another opportunity here. I think I think I was expecting Andrew to play that red into the middle. It's time to go long inside my yellow. And uh, we're back at the table. And Alrighty. Drop this one in. The bottom of the two yellows. I'm trying to stay below. No, it's probably not going to stay below, so we're going to try to stay above. Right, there we go. Okay. I wanted to be below and I'm just below, which is nice. And I got down the shot a little, it's a bit thin to be below and I've just, instead of getting up and starting again, which I should have done, I've just adjusted the speed a little bit, which is a risky, risky technique in itself. Um, I don't know if this ball goes past this or not. I'm going to try, I don't think it does, so I'm going to try and get on it. Uh, I haven't had dirty calls yet, thank God. Uh, a bit frazzled here, I tell you what, I won't lie, a bit frazzled. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to be trying to stun up this little gap here beside the black. So go a little wrong, but if it goes a little wrong, we've got the one in the middle. That's, that's, uh, oof. It's a bit ugly. I've got away with it. Oof. Jeez, heart in the mouth stuff there. So... And again, risky. I'm, I've played to go into the black, but not that thick, and that's what we're risking, isn't it? Um, so, I've gotten lucky. I've gotten a couple of good rubs here. And, um, yeah, I'm going to try and pop this yellow. Screw into here. The last yellow. I'm choosing to screw back that far to sort of I can play a full swing if you like. Quite thin. The white's going to be moving. Going with the nap is nice. Oh, gone away with mood on this frame. But, uh, still need to make sure of this. We've got some, got some uh, play with the middle pocket. I can hit it thick. So I'm going to drop this in. Very heavy, but I've gone away with it. Thanks, Andrew. Cheers, man. Um, yeah, look. It's, um, that's robbery. But uh, I, was, I was a bit surprised there not to see Andrew play that red that he played after his free shot into the middle. If he played that red into the middle, 
drifts into the open here with all these balls on. Um, uh, hopefully he watches that one back. Well done, Coop. So, uh, we have Coop's, Coop's picked up another one. Got it. Hey, mate. Well done. Playing well, mate. Playing well. Uh, Coop looks. This is the. This is the. This is the. Uh, this is the most comfortable. And uh, yes, yes, I did. Got away with murder. Um, so uh, we've got the match one. Yeah. Come on, mate. Get yourself those pickets. So. Um, Cooper's won four in this front. I mean, every time I've looked over, he's played every shot correctly. This is uh, this is Cooper's best match by far, and it's on the stream table, so I'm thrilled for him. Right? He's um, yeah, absolutely thrilled for Cooper. He's um, he's been building to this. Had a nervy start, but this is a fantastic performance from Cooper. Uh, as far as the team scenario goes, that's awesome, awesome stuff. Uh, really pleased for him. Um, opposition. Attitude seems pretty good considering they're getting, you know, they're getting a knock in the rub. We've had luck against them. And we're 14-5 up. So now, we've, now we, we've actually got the win. Those two frames secured the win. So now we, we look for the bonus point. Um, so we need to be, we need a win of, uh, uh, so we've got uh, 17 or better to secure the bonus point. Bonus points alive, boys. Come on. Bonus points alive. So we've got the win. So that's, Keep, keep focused, keep working. So, uh, you know, as far as the standings go, we, 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 these bonus points are critical, so they haven't, it's pretty even. Um, and, uh, you know, this, the bonus point, we've, we've secured two of them. Uh, There's a chance at the third one, so we, 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 we want them, we need them. Um, so, it's a lot to play for, which is good, and I like this too, there's a lot to play for still. So a bonus point structure, provides you with incentive to keep pushing past the win. And it keeps your team fo keeps you guys focused, you know. So it's a good it's a good thing. I, I, I like it. The bonus points are a great thing. And because um, you can you can get caught up in um, you know getting the win and just you know having a lash it keeps you there's something to play for when you're in front. Um, Actually, something I'd like to see introduced into our local league to spice these up a little bit. AJ um, has looked really good this match. Yeah. Struggled uh, at the beginning of the week with some. Um, Pace of the table, pace of striking seemed all, seemed all at sea, but uh, he seems to have found his touch and timing for these tables, which is going to be good. So as from, a, from a team perspective, from a captain's perspective, the team's going in the right direction. Uh, we're getting better as the weekend's gone on, uh, as the week's gone, which is good. Um, let's see, we'll probably attribute that to a couple of us being alive, still in a lot of things, and we're getting a lot of table, table time. But as far as being um, on the stream tables for the first time, this has been a very sound performance. Um, so I'm really happy with the guys. But I want to see him. I want to see him keep up the intensity for the remainder of the round. I want to see him hungry for that bonus point and um, just maintain the intensity. It's a, good, it's, a very, it's a very confident shot from AJ. Very well cued. He's pumped that into the middle. And is it? Is it there's a conception that the middles on these tables are you know, something to be concerned with, uh, be afraid of wheat. And I see a lot of people approach them with tentativeness. Um, I'm a big believer in um, if you're sighting them and aiming them for the heart of the pocket, um, you know, it is, they're nothing to be afraid of. You've got to, you've got to approach it with confidence like anything else. Um, Compared to Australian tables with the curved jaw and everything like that, the, uh, um, you know, you've got a lot of margin for error. You sort of, you sort of tend to aim for it inside, inside the jaw. Um, don't need to just 
you need to change it, your approach a little bit, I find. And uh, I think uh, sort of piece of advice I gave Cooper at the start of the week, I think he's uh, taken on board that. So just requires a little bit more focus and just, um, yeah, just a bit of a changing in your natural instinct to how you decide to pop, that's in my opinion. Uh, others might feel differently, but, um, but yeah, back to the action. Um, so. Matt here against Sean is working his way through and out here. And his last red. I think um, what I find is the guys like to leave themselves in these is requiring a big shot at the end. This is a massive requirement here to pot this inside the yellow trail, but then they're still leaning on the black. Um, he's potted it, but now, yeah, so it's, it's a great shot. Um, and now he's got work to do in the black, so he's a for double. Just cut that in and got up and down and uh, snooked himself. So now, short at the table. That's Mr. Black and uh, put it on the side cushion. I, I wouldn't take much time here. I Sean, I'd just be putting this very cute little snooker here behind, which I think he's going to do. Yeah. I would have been trained that this shot was the, uh, the definitely the shot for me. And it's. Um, it's pretty sound. You have uh, the only option he has here is to uh, come off the top, top rail, hit about where that cue ball is in the with sign. And uh, yeah, he's hit there, but he's hit speed, it's sort of gone on, so well, it's uh, free shot time for Sean. Dare yeah, say. So, so he'll take his ball in hand here, he'll use his free shot to develop the black into a better, more friendly position. And he'll work his way through what we call a mop-up here. Um, yep. It's really good. Puts the black on. Puts his white in the middle of about three or four yellows. So now this is just about focus. Working your way through the out here. He's very confident at the moment. He's very comfortable at the moment. So he's just going to whistle through these. He's seeing the map very quickly. He's taken a lap there, he's tired, you can tell he's tired, but he's confident and he's um, going to continue. He's basically just rolling boys in now. Come this one in and out of ball. Oh, interesting. So I just, I just roll that in, just put a bit of bottom on it. And he's going off a little bit here, he's going to ball on the ball. I think that whilst it's pretty comfortable. Okay. So, a bit of focus and concentration now. It's the key ball, transition to the last ball. Yep, screwed up the table nicely. Uh, more angle than he would have liked. He would have liked to gone past it. So now he's going to go stun off the top rail again. Yep. Uh, it's got a bit loose with the white. Uh, last couple of shots and this is what happens, you end up in these situations. Just ever so slightly got a little bit looser and looser as it went. He's not happy but he's, uh, he's feeling the flow, he's in the pocket, tough spots for a but he's going to do or die, he's going to punch it in hard I think. Well, that's beautiful. I tell you, he's full of confidence, uh, I'd like to see him tighten up his white ball a bit there. Because uh, you know, put yourself in a final when it's eight all, and you're rolling through that out there. You don't want to land there, um, but um, yeah, he'll tighten it up. But uh, he has run away with it. Now back on the other table, Frank's had AJ in all sorts since AJ snooked himself in his last ball, and uh, he's got two balls left. One ball on the black. And Frank's, a lot of guys leaving him long, the solvers are long on the black, but Frank's, um, Frank's got the luxury here, of AJ's yellows on the rail, so you can see him approach as a compass, wouldn't be surprised if Frank knocked this in. Yep, there it is. That's Frank's, that must make it me. 
So that last round for me here. Um, Six, six, so we uh, we want the uh, we want the remainder. So yeah, we got a little bit, a bit to play for here. Me and Caleb, all the very best, Caleb. Oh, let's see if we can't win a leg. Be nice to win one, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, are you lefty or righty, mate? Yeah, beautiful. So, we've managed to finally win one, I think. Yep, okay. Right. So, a little bit better there with the leg. Jeez, uh, these smart racks have been pretty good. Um, first time I've used them, I think. It's, uh, Conditions here are first class. Super fine cloth on the uh, on the eight tables down here in the main playing area. Strong green strong six at eleven on the tables up top. Still uh, very new cloth, so running running really well. Um, I believe this table supplied by uh, Mungal, who I think is on cue. If we're getting that wrong, Mungal, I apologise, but uh, certainly the name for uh, tables in. Uh, in the ACT has been for a long time, so um, yeah, and it's uh, we're, we're sport. Obviously, Pro Cup balls a pretty standard issue these days, but it's nice to have them. Um, yeah, and, uh, conditions is no complaints, no complaints at all. Um, so bonus points to lot for offer. Want to get a good break here? Lighten the hands. Stay down. And. Here's one. Here's one. All right. So let's have a bit of a look. We'll get the bell bushka away. Let's see what we got. What we got here. All right. So black's a little tricky. I like where the reds are, but I don't like where the black is. Um, I like the yellows, but this one here is. So I'm going to go yellows. I'm going to try and free this one here because then it doesn't pop. And I think if I can do that, I'll we'll be off to the races. Um, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to glance this, just glance this other yellow. Push it off. Yeah, I haven't managed to do that at all. Like most things I've failed to do, I've called it and failed to do it, which is lovely when you've got a mic microphone. Um, but we, <laughs> so, we'll continue as we have been. Getting found out here, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, we'll just drop this one in. I'm going to come, drop, all we can do is just put this one in the middle and come here. And we'll try and move back down and address that ball I'm not on. So, Again, speed's going to be enemy. I'm thin and on the wrong ball. Thank you. Okay. This yellow, this yellow is a problem. Can't even get on it. Get on it long. It's ugly. It's ugly. You know. I don't like it at all. The right middle of this one. Thank you. Right, so let's, let's try and go into this other one. Uh, no, I'm not. Try and screw this one here. Pop this one in the middle. Screw it. And just hold for the one on the opposite. Rushed it there a little bit with a five second call. But um, thank you. All right, so here's another shot at getting this yellow into play. We're going to try and just cannon it into play. Not leave ourselves long on this other yellow. It's not ideal again, but we're here and we're going to do the best we can. 
got to stun this a little bit. Use the other hole. Too deep, we've caught that with a yellow. Now we're, we're in that all too familiar. Okay, so now I need something big, something enormous. I need a double, it's horrible. And I need a double, I need to square it up. I need to come off through off this rail and back into their space there. Or, thank you. Actually, I don't need to do that. Yeah, I do need to do that because I'm not going to be able to hold there. So I'm going to. This could get horrible. There's a double. Screw it. Oh, shit, I can. I can get. I can get under here. I'm going to screw back in. Thank you. And horrible. Bit of time pressure there. Um. Yeah, again, familiar story, the earlier outs. I haven't, um, haven't successfully dealt with the tricky ball. I haven't uh, been able to control the white ball as accurately as I needed to in the key moments. And I've just uh, slowly and progressively gotten myself on the road to nowhere. Um, getting a lot of second chances in this match, though. Um, Caleb's missed that pot. I'm going to play the face double here. I need to give myself a chance to land on the other yellow. It's aggressive, but I need to do something because you know, Caleb's probably had one visit away from mopping me up. So, that's what we're going to do. So, I've played that shot to try and get position. I've not been successful, and now we're in a world of hurt. And we're going to try and create. Ah, uh, look. We're something wild and crazy and try and pop this fellow in that middle pocket there just for a bit of thank you just for a bit of uh, you know excitement that's gone nowhere near it and I would suspect that it might be the last visit I get Pulling up earlier on in the out, I felt like I could uh, make it work. And, uh, I've gone to the well Not too many times, I think, tonight. And, um, Should be has been their best player uh, to uh, not let me work to the table here. Um, steady, steady kills. Focus.
jump at the air, bridging over the black, and uh, he's a tall fella, so he's managed to reach it, and he's uh, not in nicely. Michael is looking here, he's posing, he's walked the tail, he's having a look at where his good spots are, where he can land. that really well. over the table, did all the right things in my book, he prepared himself well there and just hasn't uh, quite executed. Um, got a long yellow here, and a thin black, two schools of thought, I can punch this in, or I can just roll it in, I like just rolling it in, stay still. Really composing now, just making sure. Don't play the shot till I'm ready. Um, just thin cut. Slow speed. Thanks, Caleb. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Um, yeah, look, got away with one there. Again, so in a quick review, I think I've played pretty. Um, oh, shit. Throwing the ball, so just dropped the ball and it's running to the audience, thank you. Um, yeah, look, not, um, not, uh, not super, but uh, nevertheless, I got away with it. Um, yeah, actually tricky to call your own action when you're not, uh, not producing. Is that it? Is that last, last one more? So we're in the last frame. High fives, we've got the bonus point locked away, so that's a good thing. We've got AJ last. Um, so, yeah, overall it's been a good performance for the team. Oh, you wanted it to. Yeah. Just, uh, just having a bit of a cuddle there with Coops. Uh, obviously, uh, he had his best match, he's under four, and he just wanted that picket fence. It's a uh, great, great match, mate, great match. And um, as uh, I'm sure Coop will, be, uh, Coop will agree, uh, feels good to perform well on the, uh, the stream, and then we're at 10 o'clock. You and I in the doubles, like on the stream, so that's um, that's exciting. So um, yeah, good things, good things for us. Uh, but um, back to the match, final frame, um, dry break, and that. So yeah, look, um, I hope it's been uh, it's just difficult to. Uh, find enough to say throughout the entire stream um, so I hope some of the things that I've, 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 some of the insights I've given today have been enjoyable for those watching um, Been on one, we've pretty much been at one gear today, we've been having a crack at everything, um, which uh, may, not, may not be the best approach, just on reflection, uh, some of the uh, other opposition teams we've got coming up, 
um, the singles match moving straight onto the uh, straight onto the uh, the table as they're running behind. So, um, and AJ continuing to get uh, some very good rubs. That is a, a tremendous rub. Just to uh, just to put icing on this one. Let's give him another chance now to clear this frame up. Um, that's frighteningly fortunate. So yes, so with the uh, singles match in mind, I, um, I'm going to have to, uh, Ruby darling, I'm going to have to save the chicken dance for tomorrow's doubles, hopefully. Um, only just out of courtesy for the people playing singles. I don't think they want a guy doing a chicken dance around a table, honey. But um, we'll, uh, we'll definitely endeavour to do that for you, sweetheart. We'll get it done. Uh, AJ is uh, taking advantage of his tremendous rub there earlier and uh, he's mopping his frame up so um, pretty sound we'll keep the stream going um, we'll keep this commentary going right to the end and um, uh, I'll put a chat to the boys and yep it's AJ Getting Lux one thing, taking advantage of it, making it count for something is another, and he's done that tonight in two frames. Um, yeah, good win, AJ. Yes, AJ. And uh, that concludes our 18-7 uh, win. Well done, boys. Well done. Good job. Bedtime. Uh, we'll... Alrighty. Come check us. Thanks, mate. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thanks a lot, mate. Appreciate it. Thanks, Andrew. Appreciate it, mate. Caleb, thanks, mate. Well played. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Mick. Yeah, thanks. Uh, right, we'll, we'll get out of we'll get out of your out of your playing area. So straight on with the singles matches now, boys, and uh, we'll um, we'll pop up quickly to Dan. And uh, we'll get this mic off. But uh, yeah, thanks for putting up with me for a whole match. For those that are watching, uh, hope you found that entertaining. And uh, I'll look forward to reading all the comments. And uh, good night. All good. How did I go?